What's good, everybody? It's Jamie Foy. This is a little box. Ask me anything. All right, I got your questions to start answering them. My favorite Death Wish graphic would have to be, I mean, personally, mine is the, for my pro graphic is the big boy, the first one. I mean, just classic, I love it. But recently, I really like the John Dixon painting board of him and his dog, Darlin. That board's so sick. Some of the best spots in Miami, I mean, really depends on what you want to do. I mean, there's spots you can go skate and have fun at or just try to get a crazy trick at. But some of the best spots I'd say, uh, the one that's gone would be Citibank. It's an OG spot. You skate the bench and seven stair. And there's also a handrail and a hubba there. There's so much stuff. And then also Cobra handrail. I mean, it's very good rail. It's pretty gnarly, but it's really good. And hmm, what else? I'd say the Fountain Gap in Brickle. The Fountain Gap in Brickle is like one of the best spots ever. It's super fun to skate with your friends. So my favorite handrail, I'd say have to be the West Covina handrail. It's like a tall, mellow circle one. I've done a couple tricks at it and a lot of people have done tricks at it. It's really good and the run up and everything's perfect. It's almost like a skate park handrail. And then my biggest handrail would be the one on King of the Road. I think it was a 34 or something like that. I did front 50, but yeah, it's still my biggest handrail yet, so. And obviously one of the most asked questions is favorite skater. Uh, it's just really hard to say. I mean, it depends on what you want to watch at that time or what you're feeling. But I mean, I think like our current generation, one of the best skaters ever is Ashad. And then other than that, I mean, there's so many other people I love to watch skating. Uh, Bob Burnquist sometimes, because he's just stuff that he does is insane. James Hardy, he's just an all around just kills everything. He just skates, skates big handrails and skates over rails and everything. So, uh, one of my favorite clips I've ever filmed would be the back heel I did in my fuel part over the bump to bar. Just because, I mean, it's one of the hardest tricks I've done over a bump to bar, and I was super stoked on it. And also, I just love the way it came out, and it's filmed VX, which is just one of my favorite ways to film. So, that was one of my favorite clips ever, for sure. Uh, so my favorite trick pretty much I think is just a front side 50 50 It's the most basic but the most fun trick out there You could hold it forever or just do it on tiny rails and everything you could do anything you want with it And then if you want to talk about flip tricks my favorite trick I'd probably say is a heel flip just the way it feels and everything just the trick feels so good So that's pretty much my favorite flip trick When you're scared skating you pretty much have to what I call pull the trigger, it sounds crazy, but you just have to get that fear in the back of your mind and just know that whatever you wanna do, you can do it and believe that you know what you're doing. And I mean, if you've been skating for a while, it's just pretty much muscle memory and your body knows what to do before your mind even knows what to do. So it kind of just works out. You just gotta really believe in yourself. Uh, my favorite dinner meal would just be uh, a steak and mashed potatoes pretty much i mean super simple i like just good tasting simple meals <laughs> pretty much it was kind of a mutual thing the way i got on dickies we just kind of reached out to each other uh i think i reached out and then they just got back to me and we just started talking and everyone we met and everyone was cool and it's just you know good relationship just like any type of friendship pretty much uh, so far, my top two favorite are Copenhagen and Taipei, Taiwan. I mean, it's just such a, those are just such fun places and the skating is unbelievable. No, not really. I don't really have any skate superstitions. I just don't think of anything. I just try to not think of any negative things or just pretty much think positive. I, I believe in the law of like the uh, law of attraction and you just want to think positive and positive things will happen think good things good things will happen and just keep the bad stuff out there uh i mean i definitely skate just because i love it i just found i fell in love with it when i was one no one in my family skated when i was younger i just somehow saw uh the people across my street skating they were like older kids on the cul-de-sac and my sister had a skateboard she was like seven she just had a walmart board and my mom said i just saw them skating out the window grabbed the board and just wait at the door for her to open it and once she opened it put one knee on it just went off i just fell in love with it just the way it looked and then after that just the 
the feeling and the community of it all is amazing. Uh, I do not have a Spotify, but last thing on Apple Music I listened to is probably Grace by Lil Baby and 42 Doug and what else? Oh uh, yeah, Future just uploaded uh, all his old stuff, so that's pretty tight. That's a hard one. Those are two of my favorite. Those are two of my favorite rail tricks as well. Um, well, I mean, honestly, I can't choose between those two. But in the order of doing them, I'll definitely do a front feeble before front crook. Front feeble is one of my go-to's. Uh, I have been skating for 22 years. I started when I was one, so I don't have any plan on stopping soon. Uh, my favorite Dickies pants to skate in is the WP826. It's a really good pant. I mean, I really love the cut and the feel. It's super lightweight and they last a while. And I mean, other than that, I really like the double knees. So those are my top two favorite. Uh, my favorite transition to skate would be like a vert ramp, but not a big one. Probably about like nine, ten foot. I'd say the best one ever is the mini vert at Woodward. That's like my favorite thing to skate. It's super fun and you could go high, but you also can like jump to flat and it's not the worst thing ever. So <laughs> it's pretty forgiving. I'd say my worst slam ever is that recent one in Albuquerque where I did the front 50 and slammed in my face. I mean, obviously it didn't have the worst repercussions because I only couldn't skate for a week. Thank God, but uh, other than that, when I was, I think, 13 or 14, I tried to nollie front shove the six stair at a local park in Palm Bay, and I just, like, landed primo and fractured one ankle and rolled the other one, so technically that would probably be my worst slam ever because that took me out for the longest, one, the longest time. Uh, my favorite dessert, I'd probably say, is just a warm brownie with some ice cream on it. That, never go wrong one of the main things i like to do other than skate is pretty much go fishing uh i just like to chill relax and try to catch some fish it's a pretty good time for me i love it uh quarantine's been pretty tight i've just been hanging out at home i mean i've been going out skating a little bit just keeping it uh with the people i live with so that way i don't try to endanger anyone else or anything i just keep just been keeping it mellow and keeping it small crew and trying to do our best to stay away from other people and you know do our part so hopefully this is all over soon so we can just go get out and skate with all our homies